Finding the next big gaming altcoin is an extremely difficult thing to do, but today I have constructed a list of eight very promising altcoins I believe will do well in the next bull run. Now I've got a list of a diverse range of altcoins in this case, all tailored towards the gaming space. We've got, you know, AAA game studios, we've got games themselves, we've got launch pads and a whole host of others. So I'm really excited to bring this list to you today. And look, if you're someone like me who's put off gaming for the longest time, right, I currently don't own any gaming altcoins. Some of the ones on this list today are ones I'm definitely eyeing off now because if you have a look at some of these charts here from very reputable you know, industry market analysis, they're predicting the gaming industry and the blockchain space to just absolutely blow up over the next few years here. This one from Grandview Research is predicting a 68% year-on-year growth in the gaming blockchain space, right? This is just the US market itself in 2021, over here at 272 million, right through to 2030, where they're predicting the market to be about two to $300 billion, which is just insane, right? So this is only one. We've got over here another very reputable analysis. These guys are predicting that 7.1 billion was around the market size in you know 2022 they're predicting to go to 700 billion in 2032 almost 800 billion which is insane and keep in mind this is just the us markets you can only imagine what the size will be and this is again a forecast they're typically very conservative in these as well so needless to say this is going to be a big bull run so guys let's get into the first coin today don't forget to like the video if you're here and uh let's begin so the first project is a gaming based uh, game right so it's a full single game which of course there is inherent risk and of course when you're looking at single games well what comes about there of course if the game's bad then that's the whole project down the dumps we'll look at some gaming studios in a second that produce multiple games they have more of a longevity but this is where the big money can spawn look at axie infinity for example the list goes on okay so big time is the project they're currently going through their pre-season launch Again, this is a single game. Now, what is Big Time? Well, essentially, it's a game in which you and your friends can interact through an RPG. It's a role-playing game, and you go through many different timelines, okay? So you start off, if they have it on this page, they might not. As you can see here, way back in 323 BC, 1881 AD, and you just continue to go through. You fight different monsters, you know, different bosses, and of course, you can interact with many other people as well and play this game. I always picture it like a bit of a metaverse, okay? And you can actually create your own as well. well. That's a whole different story. I don't want to kind of lean into one project and overanalyze it for you guys. I want to introduce them to you today. But just like anything, you know, a big part of any gaming project, a specific game itself at least, is it has to have a very good feedback loop. Now, this is something I learned from Alex Becker analyzing his research i made a video on that a while back and one of the things that he said that made a lot of sense to me was that any good game itself can you know be built off blockchain technology it doesn't have to be you know completely built on a network but what it has to have is a very good use for the token within that sort of gameplay loop that makes players need to use the token and i believe big time has a very very good economy or essentially like needs the token itself right so what is big time token well the big time token is of course the main cryptocurrency that drives the economy itself the way you can do it when we accumulate it is by killing enemies completing quests on and so forth which again was what becker specifically stated now the reason why i'm kind of like navigating to becker on all this sort of thing is because he's the man the myth the legend he's the one that sort of is pushing this industry and actually we've got a bit of a bit of a gap project that's based from Becker in this list as well. So we look forward to staying to that. Either way, you can do many different things with the big time token itself. Use it for boosts, workshop, prestige portals, basically things that are specific to the game itself. But the main again re purpose I'm bringing this up is because you actually need it to play the game. Not it's free to play, you don't actually need it, but it is a part of the game. It's integral to be used, okay? Now a big part of a specific game itself is the team members. You've got to have a good team because you want to have a team that's obviously based or has experience in making games before, AAA games or whatever it might be. Now, in this case, the team actually is stacked, which is one of the big bullish reasons that I am looking at this project as a potential to buy, because I've got Epic Games, Rockstar, Riot, Activision, Blizzard, and a whole bunch more actually creating this thing, right? Now, we can go through, we have Ari, the CEO over here from Decentraland. I mean, you guys can go ahead and have a look. We have people over here from Illuvium, another big single AAA based game itself. It goes on. So yeah, I'm actually bullish and not just the, you know, the, the, the game and the idea of the game, but the team. And that's essentially who drives the ship right now. The good news is that the project is 75% up on the month and only 50% up on the week. Now you might be thinking, Kyron, 
50% up, that's not a good time to buy. Well, consider the fact that this project's market cap is $70 million and that other games and other, you know, projects, Solano, Chainlink, so on and so forth, they've pumped 3, 4x, right? So this is still, I believe, nice and hidden, but not too hidden. Okay, so at a 70 billion million market cap, rather, that's quite reasonable. We have the high expectation for growth there and it is on Coinbase, but it still has the possibility to launch on some other really profitable exchanges as well. Of course, it does have high liquidity thanks to uh, Coinbase or the potential of high liquidity, should I say. Now, the next project we're looking at is another soul-based game and I'm really, really, really bullish on this one, guys. These two games just blew me away when I first started researching them. It's called Compete and was actually introduced to me by a subscriber on a live stream I made about a month ago, okay? Now, this game you can actually download and play right now. It's coming out on Xbox and PlayStation, which is actually huge, right? And the whole premise behind Compete is you create a character or a competitor as they call it. You can, of course, you know, customize it whenever way you might want to, but you compete against other people in a whole bunch of games, right? I almost imagine like a massive metaverse where you create this character that you can use in all these different games, which is quite interesting. They've got Blitz Royale, Kart Race, Social Deduction, and Basketball as well. And yes, just have a look at how nice and clean the games are. It's insane, right? Now, the market cap for this is even lower. I believe it's around, well, this isn't exactly correct, but it's around the tens of millions, okay? Let's just safely say 30 million in this case. So this one also hasn't pumped too much on the last seven day, but enough to kind of go, okay, it's people are starting to look at it, right? 50% on the last week and the last month it's about 2x up, okay? So this falls in line with, you know, the sort of other projects in this area, right? Gaming did have a bit of a pump recently as well. So that gives me some indication it's on people's radar, right? But again, you have to look kind of the economy here to see, well, is it a good game, right? Is it a need for the token itself? Now, these guys have a pretty in-depth, I think, breakdown of how the token actually works and in the economy itself. It's pretty much like Call of Duty mixed with a whole bunch of other things. Right? They have basketball, so they can have pretty much custom skins on guns, you know, shirts, your, you know, your appearance, and also the, the basketballs themselves, so on and so forth. It's a bunch of games and a big metaverse. That's kind of the best way I would put it as well. And this is the compete token itself, right? So you can actually, you know, in-game itself, interact with a bazaar and, you know, swap your tokens around for whatever way you might need. Either way, I kind of more so see it like V-Bucks, if you will, right? You can purchase skins and so on and so forth. So there's, there is that feedback loop or it's like gameplay loop, but it's not, I don't believe as powerful as something like a, you know, big time over here. I still, I still recommend it though, because you just look at how big, you know, League of Legends and all these free to play games are, people want to buy skins and stuff, right? So that's on my list as well. But next I want to move on to a really interesting and very unique game that is a, called a gamified Dex, right? It kind of mixes a decentralized exchange with a game. And that's actually Spider Dex, right? Now, Spider Dex, now I'm just going to actually open it up over here. And it's literally like uh, an RTS game, right? A real-time strategy game. So, you know, like Clash of Clans, so on and so forth. Now, to actually play the game itself, as you can see, it's very interactive. To play the game itself, you have to, I believe, go to the Senate and actually interact for at least $100 with the liquidity pool. Again, it's a Dex, you have to provide liquidity. Then you can unlock the features of the game and build up your base essentially right whilst also your know, yield farming and things it's very interesting technically yes it is a dex uh but again it's just a really interesting way to go about and interacting with a dex right so spider dex is a combination of ancient greece based real-time strategy game with a fully functional decentralized exchange this unusual combination probably fills the imperfections of a traditional dex again it's you know bringing people in who want to interact with crypto and DeFi, but you know also want to make it a very seamless, easy process. That's the whole point of this, right? So time is money, just play the game, develop your hometown along with, you know, yield from your liquidity pool itself. The more you achieve, the more profits you will earn. The whole process is being saved in an NFT for your polis. So it's all being completely saved, right? So it's a very, very unique way. I can play the trailer for you. I suggest you guys have a look at it yourself. Either way, I want to actually take you through what it's built on. So it's built on Arbitrum, okay? And that's interesting because Arbitrum has one of the highest TVLs in all of uh, crypto. The, the network itself has about $2.1 billion locked up. As you can see, uh, you know, it's fourth to BSC, Tron, and Ethereum themselves. And if you actually open up Arbitrum itself and scroll down, I think it's down here at number 34. Yeah, so Spiderdex is only right now on Arbitrum. Ranks 34, there's actually 
million dollars in value locked already and that kind of i think attributes to the fact that it promotes playing a game first which brings in more people considering the market cap's only seven million dollars it far outweighs the market cap that's kind of insane right there's more locked up than the actual market cap itself now this of course isn't accurate but we can have a look at the seven day chart here to say hey if people are starting to look at this project already 73 percent up on the seven day last month it's about a four x four and a half x up right so i still think there's room to grow at a 10 mil market cap or a seven mil market cap the project's still extremely small it's a micro cap right and of course you know, the multiples here are insane so that is another one i would keep your eye out for as well again a different type of game itself now the next one i mentioned before was a project inspired by Alex Becker. I shouldn't really say inspired. It's it's built by Alex Becker. Alex has a very, I think he's one of the founders of the project actually, right? It's called Neo Tokyo. Now Neo Tokyo isn't a sort of game, but what it is, is a network, right? It's a network of builders and players essentially who want to spawn the metaverse, who want to look towards bringing gaming, or at least this whole blockchain gaming atmosphere to the masses, right? Now, the way they've kind of spoken about this is akin to Ready Player One. If you've seen Ready Player One, that's like amazing, right? The, end of the world could be endless. That was a really awesome movie, by the way. But they want it to kind of you know, eventually eventuate into Ready Player One, okay? Which is only going to happen if we have a place in which we can all come together, collaborate, and build out. And so there's actually a few... Um, not just people involved in this, right? So to be involved in this, you have to buy the NFT itself. But we also have, you know, Neo Tokyo partnering with like another coin on this list, projects to bring this to life. Okay, so the token here is Bytes. Now, Bytes has been pumping quite a lot. Why? Well, because it's got a pretty good marketer and one of the founders, Alex Becker. I mean, this guy has millions of followers on both social platforms like you know, YouTube and, and Twitter. So, you know, it's going to have pretty good press, but it's still quite low. Now, again, I think coin market cap has butchered the market cap in this case, but suffice to say, it is still quite a low project, right? The last month, yes, it's pumped about a seven and a half X, but seven days, not too bad. But, you know, I would just say to you guys, right, we are in accumulation right now. And I do think, again, it's a different type of game itself, gamified uh, project. Now, this was written by Becker himself from the blog, and it's got, and I'm going to read this to you, some pretty interesting ideas. Give you the whole rounded picture, right? The core value of Neo Tokyo is a community of metaverse industry participants supported by an infrastructure that gives them the advantage in the metaverse industry. The goal is to attract developers, VCs, founders, investors, and influencers who are focused in this space. The second goal is to use the infrastructure to encourage foundational building that gives people above a huge advantage in this industry by combining the value of an extremely refined community with invaluable utility via access services and tools we have something that is absolutely effing nuclear bomb when this industry returns he's talking about of course in 2025 so yeah it's kind of like the middleman between the end users who want this thing to prosper of course influencers and the you know infrastructure themselves the people creating this okay so neo tokyo extremely interesting bytes is the ticker in this case and Again, I want to point out here, you all know who Becker is. Of course, he's pumping this thing to the moon. So he's put out there, you know, none of this is for, you know, financial profit. He's just saying to everyone, you know, this is the project. This is the idea. Buy it if you want, essentially, right? So nevertheless, that's an interesting play. Different kind of position on a gaming project. Now, the next project on this list isn't a game or a gamified DEX. It's a launch pad. A game launch pad itself that's been around since the last bull run that will allow you to get into ideally a couple hundred game projects. And of course, you pair that with how explosive the gaming narrative will be in the next bull run. This could be a serious cash cow. Now, it's called Cedify. And again, it was around the last bull run in this case. They have a few different types of launch pads. Okay, they have their IDO, their INO, or initial NFT offering, but they have now an IGO or initial game offering. Like we can see down here. These guys are launching games, even right now. And the way that you participate in these is essentially buying the Cedify token itself, the S Fund token, and you stake the token. And depending on how many tokens you have, you get put into many different tiers. Now, this is the tier system right here. And of course, the ninth tier, the very, very highest, you have the most chance to get even more uh, weight or purchase power into each of these games. And then when you're talking about games launching in the bull run, you now this could be anywhere between 100 to 1,000 X for some of these things. So, you know, you're spending 100,000 uh, tokens now to stake. But of course, you know, if you, if you just work that simple mass out, this could be an extremely profitable project. So 
again, they were around in the last bull run, right? So they do have some of that experience in, in what a bull run obviously offers. And if we work this out, yeah, this is going to work out to be quite crazy. What's 100,000 uh, S fund tokens like right now? Now, that's obviously quite a lot, right? That is 22, that's 22, $327,000 rather. That's quite a lot. Okay. Now, of course, it was a lot cheaper earlier on in the year, but that's not to say that it's not going to be again, profitable for the smaller tiers themselves, right? If you can basically only put in 250 bucks for tier one, you still get some weight in these tokens. Now, if you put in 20, 30 bucks, right, in all of these games and they end up launching to, you know, 50, 100x, 1000x maybe, which will definitely happen with some of these projects, that's still quite a lot. $30 by 1000 or by 100, you still get back your initial investment, right? Of course, it does get a lot, very expensive very quickly. So keep that in mind. But again, this is probably one of the best cash cows that has proven experience over a whole bull run. Now, and so the next project on this list isn't really a game itself, but what it is, is an infrastructure play to support gaming projects. Now, it's called Veracity. I've covered Veracity multiple times on the channel, and they recently partnered up with Neo Tokyo, actually invited by Alex Becker, which again is going to help support that infrastructure. So I'll talk more about this in just a second over here. Now, this network in and of itself, again, I've covered before. I think is one of the best in the spaces in terms of a micro cap player, okay? They recently had their whole, you know, esports gaming wing. I don't think that's really happening right now. Correct me if I'm wrong down below. They're mainly focusing on ads, all right, and ad fraud, you know, preventing these, you know, bots coming in and, you know, inflating the supply essentially of how many times an ad was viewed and things like that. So basically they're, they're helping out people optimize the revenue right advertisers as well so they also have another part of veracity which is to do with their veracity player okay this whole inbuilt uh sort of like youtube if you will essentially and they kind of part up as it was uh neo tokyo recently to bring this uh vera ads to help projects host and monetize video content again through their purpose-built player so it's pretty in, it's an interesting play right it's not again a game or anything relating to people playing it but again it's an infrastructure play here which of course will only be benefited by the success of you know the games and things that utilize it okay so again you can kind of see veracity as almost like a competitor to youtube in a way right they have their whole sort of their own ecosystem their whole blockchain essentially that runs through all of this ad fraud and then again their vera ads and their vera player as well okay so it's a quite a complex project but i think you guys might really benefit from this 82 million dollar market cap again nice and small on the seven day it's barely even moved at all six percent up on the one month again barely even moved at all 26 percent up you can buy this on kucoin and all that sort of thing but you can't buy this on like binance and uh coinbase just yet so we do have the potential there for it to really erupt do not be disincentivized by the large supply still to come into circulation but that is an error technically it's about 50 percent in supply so watch out for this now and the second to last project we will cover is a project called game swift now it is another infrastructure type play Essentially, it's its own network looking to host, you know, games. You can kind of compare it to Immutable X, right? And so if we come down here, this is kind of like the four pillars that underpin Game Swift, right? So it's gaming optimized, of course, so it, you know, supports high transactions, low fees, so on and so forth, all the things you will need in a project to support games. But the really interesting thing that I like is it's cross-chain interoperable, which is very important for a game developer. You think about making a game and utilizing your token on different the Dex is you can get quite creative and also, you know, interoperate your game with other games as well. You just don't know where this is going to head, right? So the GameSwift infrastructure enables users to seamlessly access the chain from any place in any major blockchain network while simultaneously providing interoperable transfer of cross-chain data, which I know is hard to do okay they're also secured by polygon and they're fully carbon neutral as well so again you could almost look at these guys as a competitor to immutable x right it's just a fast base where games can prosper so the team is again kind of stacked now importantly like i mentioned earlier in the video team members don't really have to be sort of hyper focused around having experience at games before it does help of course but these guys want to be good at developing networks which is going to be the, the, again how these games are built they've had experience at things like star terror stargate layer zero cypherpunk the witcher revolt so on and so forth amazon google and all that sort of fun stuff right so they have the experience in here you can go through again it's all beautiful because it's all in one place it's not you know you don't require if you're a lazy investor right you don't have to go traverse many different platforms you have all the links and stuff in here for you now 30 team members 120,000 community members 60 partnerships the list goes on okay so 
again, if you're someone looking for a play, not like Immutable X, because Immutable X is you know, multiple billions of dollars, I think, almost now. This one's nice and small at 27 million. A lot of upside, a lot of potential gains to be made here. And again, not really discovered right now. 20% up on the seven day, the 3x up on the month, which considering you know, other games, it's pretty damn good, right? Or should I say a 4x on a 3x? Now, in this case, they actually have some pretty big partners as well, right? They have Hashed, which I believe is an S tier investor. This is like pretty much the cream of the crop you can find in crypto. They also have GBV Capital, which it, I ranked in the last bull on about an A tier. Now a B tier, I believe they've made some pretty crappy investments. And of course, KuCoin, right? They're an exchange. They're, they're instantly rated a little bit higher than the rest, right? So <laughs> some pretty decent investors over here. Now, last but definitely not least, a project that is, again, a bit of an infrastructure play in this case, and that's Myria. You guys have pushed me towards Myria for the longest time now. I did a live stream recently. There was an outstanding number of you to say, check it out, check it out. And so here we are. Now, this gives me very much so Gala Games vibes. You can also kind of compare it to Nakamoto Games, except this is built on Ethereum or Layer 2 on Ethereum, should I say. So again, it kind of falls in line of Gala Games in this case, but also a mix of Immutable X because it is its own network, right? But it has its own network of nodes as well. You can become a node. So this is actually a lot smaller than the likes of Gala Games, and it's definitely Immutable X, right? Currently at about a 75 million dollar market cap it's tiny right and it's pumped up only 32 percent in the last seven days which is basically negligible when it comes to micro cap games or gaming based projects it is about a two and a half x up though on the monthly but again you can't kind of look at this as a negative thing in my opinion because while it might not be the best time to buy comparatively to other projects that i've seen again tens of billions of dollars invested in them in a shorter time period well then it's not too bad at all now i do like miria again it gives me vibes of gala mixed with immutable x in this case again this would be sort of a, a you know a, a place you'd like to look at for a gaming studio play rather than an individual game which means they're pumping out more games and actually i had a look at some of these games they are quite impressive okay so there is quite a lot and you can of course go through and uh, and look at them yourself and you know it does kind of remind me a little bit of combat with this whole you know, Fortnite game, the meta card as well. But again, you're literally investing here in multiple games. You're investing in the network, creating the good games. And so it's a little bit different. I believe it's a little bit less risky. That's even a thing you can compare in this case to a single based game, but maybe not as explosive returns, depending on how the game's built, right? So again, there there is quite a lot of games. This list will just continue and continue forever. So, everyone, with that being said, let me know what you think down below. If you've made it this far, you'd be crazy not to like the video. And I want to say, what game do you think I should invest in for my own personal portfolio? Again, I like a bit of a safer play, but at the same time, I'm willing to speculate. I was thinking Alluvium, but again, I wouldn't mind betting into big time or combat in this case for that particular game-based play. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think I've missed. And until next time, talk to you all soon. Take care.